We are here in a beautiful place in front of the monastery Stift Göttweig because we have an excellent view uh, over five wine districts on the river Danube. In the westerly part we have the wine district Wachau. The wines are more mineral driven, fresh and with high acidity. If you come down the river in this basin, the Kremstal, uh, the valley opens up and the Pannonian influence from the climate comes in and the wines are getting a bit more creamier, a little bit less acidity, but still fresh and dry vinified. This climatic mix allows us to pick very late the grapes, to have a great physiological ripeness. And in the northern part of Kremstal we have the Kamptal region and east side from the Kremstal we have the Wagram wine district. As more we go up the river, as more creamier and open are the, the wines, especially uh, on the grape Grüner Wettliner, which is the main grape in all the regions here. The wine is older than the monastery in this area, so the monks started with wine. And we never stopped this. So about 900 years, we are Benedictine monks on this place. We are not winemakers. We are take care about the wines, about the grapes, and uh, the climate, the soils, all together is a very special mix. We have here gravels and schist soil down the Loess. And as higher we go in this hill, you will see the, the color on the leaves. It's more yellow. There we have only 20, 30 centimeter topsoil and these grapes we select earlier. From Riesling, like here, we have one kilogram per wine. And what we try is a high leaf wall during a year and as we are now in the process, the sun is not uh, too strong anymore, uh, we give the leaves away that we are able to get the best possible uh, physiological ripeness. There is no other place with these conditions. And this is also the reason why we cannot copy another wine style or another region like Chablis or Burgundy. It's impossible. It's growing here under these conditions. Yeah. <laughs>